How can you optimize your nervous system, get the most out of it, and have a healthy nervous system? Our nervous system is this vast, complex array of a communication network within our body. It's our brain, it's our spinal cord, and it's all of the nerves that go out into our arms and legs. So the nervous system is responsible for how we think, how we move, and how we feel. And so the benefits of a healthy nervous system are to think better, to think more clearly, to move better, and to feel better. And so I have put together a list of things that you could do to optimize your nervous system, to have that healthier nervous system. And I think rule number one is don't bog it down. Don't put things into the body that will slow down the nervous system or speed it up too much and overtax the nervous system. And of course, these are things like excessive amounts of drugs, alcohol, uh, even caffeine. So caffeine is a stimulant. Um, I say this because everybody loves their coffee. No, I don't want to give that up. Uh, caffeine is a stimulant, so it, will, it could put some people in a state of anxiety or up the nervous system functioning a little bit uh, and tax it. But it's also a vasoconstrictor. And what that means is it slows down or inhibits uh, blood flow into the body in general, the tissues of the body, and that would, of course, uh, include our nerves. That doesn't mean that nobody should drink coffee, nobody should drink alcohol. What I'm saying are excessive amounts. And you have to know your body because everybody tolerates and handles those things differently. Uh, let's also talk about nutrition. Because if we're talking about things we put into our body, what about the foods that we eat? Are there certain foods that are healthier for the nervous system and foods that are maybe more detrimental to the nervous system? And of course, there are. Inflammation. Uh, inflammation throughout the body seems to block synapses. And synapses are these... Uh, the communication centers, the little gaps will, where the nervous system communicates. Inflammation will block some of those synapses, especially the things like serotonin and dopamine. These are extremely important neurotransmitters for communication. And if those are blocked, our nervous system is, you know, what I like to say, shot. It's not working uh, at its full optimal potential. What are these inflammatory foods? Most anything that comes in a box, a can, or a bag, your refined foods, you want to stay away from those. What are the healthy foods? Things that you would typically find on something like a Mediterranean type diet, there are diets called anti-inflammatory diets, uh, brain foods, you do searches for brain foods. Healthy fats seem to be extremely important. The nervous system, our brain and our nerves have a lot of fat in there, extremely large amount of fat content. So if we can put healthy fats into our body, that is important. Those are things like avocados, olive oils, nuts, and uh, healthy uh, fatty fish. So things like salmon could be really important. Of course, eating good high quality vegetables and certain fruits, most importantly, the berries, your blueberries, blackberries, uh, raspberries, strawberries, uh, citrus fruits. So all of those seem to be extremely important. All right, the next thing on the list, get the right amount of sleep, get adequate rest. If our, our nervous system gets taxed very easily and it needs rest and we get that rest through sleep. So certain people think that they can get the, the most out of the day by sleeping less. You might get more hours, but they're not quality productive hours. How much sleep, again, is variable. We're all a little different, but the, the range is typically seven, seven to eight hours. That's usually what's recommended. Some say six hours could be fine for a lot of people. More than nine hours usually seems to be too much. You're kind of going on that other end of the spectrum of just being lazy. And I shouldn't say that. You might actually have some, uh, some cognitive things going on, but for most healthy people, more than nine hours isn't good either. Um, along with uh, kind of rest and recovery, managing stress. We live in a world, in a society where we're go, go, go. We have so many things going in. Our nervous systems are in this chronic stressed straight state. We have things like anxiety. Uh, some people have depression. And some things that are helpful to manage that are um, meditation, breathing techniques, yoga techniques, things that will help center us, mindfulness. Um, the next thing after that, maybe one of the most crucial things that helps overall is exercise. Of course, I knew he was going to say exercise. How does exercise help the nervous system? Well, cardiovascular type exercises, things like running, jogging, biking, things that really get the heart rate up, the heart is a pump and it pumps blood into the tissues that we need it. And 
all of the tissues in the body, but in the, our case here, what we're talking about, the nervous system. It's going to increase that circulation, bring more oxygen, bring more nutrients into the, uh, into the nerves and into the brain. Um, some people will even say what's good for the heart is good for the brain, and we know exercise is extremely good for the heart. But what about strength training? What about lifting weights? Yes, strength training is starting to become a, a must for uh, improving cognitive health and things like that. Uh, more research is coming out showing that a, uh, bigger weights equal bigger brains. It actually increases the density of certain areas of the brain that are good for cognitive functioning, for motor executive functioning. And these are just things, like I said, how we move. Um, so how we think, how we feel, how we move. Exercise is good for all of those. So as a recap, don't bog it down. Put healthy things in the body. These are things that you would find from a Mediterranean type diet. Get good sleep, adequate rest, control stress, get good exercise. And if you can do those things, you're going to have a more healthy nervous system. Um, I like to say, you know, what I've just done is given you knowledge. And they say knowledge is power. They say knowledge is potential power. Action is power. So take Take one strategy from here and apply it. Apply this to get a healthier nervous system. Um, I hope you've got something, something out of this video. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them below. If you have a comment, please leave them below. I like the questions. I like the comments. Um, and then if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a little thumbs up and uh, encourage me to make more of these for you.